Captain, good to see you. Always, Lieutenant. Zack. Thought you'd look a little worse for wear, but... You look good. I should probably be pissed that you stole one of our rovers. I guess you didn't have much of a choice. What do you need? If you're here for help, start talking, because every second I'm around you is a bona fide hazard. And I don't want to have to steal a rover myself. How are things? Heard there have been a few changes. Thanks to your escape, yeah. Now most Technomancer officers are treated like traitors. And the army's barely got a voice now that it's under control of the ASC. Can't tell friend from enemy anymore. Everyone's watching their own back, suspicious of everyone else. Paranoia is caught like a virus. I don't know what's going on, but I am worried what it means for our corporation. They're sinking into an era of terror, beginning to act like the very Aurora fascists who we hate who had their own men assassinated.
here to free you, you and all the others. We must go, though. Now. Ah, Zachariah. My faith in you was not misplaced. I... Yeah, come on! We're going to take you yeah. down! Yeah. They're coming, Zachariah. Go! There's a dome hidden in the desert, one spoken of in the tablet you brought me. Find it! You won't get away! They're here! Lead our kind through the crypt. Save them! Come on, guys! I won't leave you... There is no time to debate! Go! Master. No. Go on. I will help him. And tell Andrew. I am sorry. But flee, Zachariah! Protect our kind! Move, you idiot! Run! They're overloading them! What's going on? Where's the old man? Where's he at? He wanted to stop whatever was tailing him. He oversurged. Oh, shit. Oh, hell, Seth. I'm sorry. I should get going, though, now. Not let his sacrifice be for nothing, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we need to protect the ones still left. Yeah! <laughs> 
Take this elevator straight to the sand sails. From there, the merchants will take you to knock this. Are you? The legendary city of the merchants? For real? Amazing! That... But what about the other Technomancers who escaped the ASC too? Are they gonna be able to... Talk to the merchant running the sand sails. I'm sure he'll be able to help them too. And they can join us in Noctis with other caravans. Zachariah, thank you. What would have happened to us without you? Zachariah, you look... I have the parts for the pro... Now I have the parts, but what will I do with them without a quiet place to work, Zachariah? I mean, honestly, am I a magician? No. Talk to me about it once we reach Nox. Zachariah, the great hero of his brothers, has returned triumphant. Amazing! Against all odds! Against a city! Bravo! But, uh, I don't see anyone resembling the great master. Is he... dead? He sacrificed himself so we could get out. Oh, so... sad. Truly. Well, please tell your colleagues, your brothers. They are welcomed here. Let them rest and regain their strength. I can only imagine what the ASC put them through, and without their great master they must feel lost on top of it all, feel the void for a leader among them. No? What are you getting at? Just simply that, as their hero, it might be in their best interest for you to fill that void. I don't purport to understand how these things work among your kind, through a vote or drinking game, but you've earned it. They need you to pull them back together after what they've been through. And to have a unified group of Technomancers among us to serve would be valuable beyond imagination. Think about it. I'll think about it. But now's not the time. We need to mourn the Fallen. Zachariah, you look good. Better than I. I brought you back what you asked. Oh, you found the ostrich egg cream. No, but I found your notes on technomancy, and I found a full kit for Andrew, the prosthesis. Ah, yes, the prosthesis. Give it to me. No, 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 it shouldn't take me long. Roughly a few hours, just enough time to go through my notes. It would go even faster if you gave me a hand. You really didn't remember to bring me any cream. That's too bad. I would like to help you, but I think that it's beyond my expertise. I'd better leave you alone and come back later today. Hey, Brad. Zachariah, how's the hunting? I've got your last specimen. At last! Glands of the infamous Locusta Tempestatus. Fantastic! My thanks are endless. Tell me, how was its behavior? You're welcome. Its behavior? I don't... Well, it looked like it was absorbing electrical power that made it stronger. You don't say. Fascinating. Might you be willing to make some more collections while I study these? If so, the black mole would be quite a catch. 
It's been known to dwell in the canyons surrounding Noctis. I'll see what I can do. Zachariah, I've got something I need to ask you. Zachariah, I am glad to see you. You, what you did, what you wished for us, no one will ever forget. We lost many, and for that, we are mourning. But we can at least celebrate that because of you, the Order has not disappeared. We're brothers and sisters. We stand together. Yes, and others have joined us too, you know. The merchants spread the word to those who are still in hiding. But for those non-initiated and those who passed, we are all here. Did the Great Master manage to tell or give you anything before he passed, before his sacrifice? He told me to watch over the Order, gave me a tablet. He'd managed to translate the text of the relic I'd brought back from an excavation in Aurora. And what did it say? It talks about an important research base, the largest the settlers ever built on Mars, one that was in contact with Earth. It had a beacon. Unfortunately, it didn't say where the base was, only the location of a smaller dome that housed some of the larger base's scientists. Then we must find it. <laughs> oh, I can feel it, Zachariah. We are so close to contacting Earth again. Maybe, but I have the feeling we're not the only ones who know about it, though. Thanks to Alan, the ASC might have gotten their hands on the tablet while the Great Master was being held. Alan? How could he betray our order? We have to beat the ASC to that dome. What can I do to help? Dozens of Technomancers have spent years trying to re-establish contact with Earth. What can you tell me about that? Well, first, that search has been stalled for years. At the beginning, of course, we collected anything relating to the settlers. Most of the relics, though, turned out to be just simple tools. The wars and our inability to travel out of our infrastructure had all but squashed the opportunity to explore. This is the first time that we have been freed of our yokes, free to explore again. What limits our work, though, is that few of us can read the settlers' secret writings. A gift, I believe, only the Great Master had. And with the most important knowledge having been written in that language, what we know, though, is that there is, in fact, an intact beacon somewhere. That there are still many undiscovered sites. And now today, with you, we have a hope again to find it. Greetings, Zachariah. Everybody settled in? We are, Zachariah, yes. There's something on your mind, isn't there? That obvious? The Great Master asked me to look after everyone. Having the unconditional support of everyone would help me a lot. Don't know how to pull that together, though. We're a family, Zachariah. You'll always have our support. You're looking to become a great master, though. That's different. There are some who obviously will question your abilities to hold that position. It's not personal. You did tremendous things for us, Zachariah. You did. But not everyone knows you well enough. You're young, inexperienced. And while your talent speaks for itself, I have a feeling some will want to put those talents to the test before supporting you. My suggestion would be this. Find the most influential masters. I'm sure they'll have questions. Satisfy their expectations, and I believe nothing can stand in your way. And I'll go see them. Greetings, Zachariah. Hi. Melvin told me to find you. Ah, so you're the one who's hoping to be our great master. You're so... young. Not that it diminishes the possibility, but to be worthy of such a role, one must have extensive knowledge of the settlers and Earth. Without that, how could you possibly lead us? I agree. So why not test my knowledge? Fair enough. An easy question. What is the name of the celestial body closest to Earth? And what percentage of the beautiful blue Earth is covered in water? The name of the mythical first man to enter space, what was it? Legend has it that he was an ancestor of the first Reachers, if you believe such tales.
Interesting. I believe three correct answers is good enough for me. I will ask one last question. The name of the first machine the Earthlings sent flying over our planet. Yes, yes, you know much. Not all, but a lot. You must have been a conscientious student, but still too young to have the required knowledge. As... Hi. Ah, so you... I agree. Fair enough. And what pers... The name of the mythical foot. Interesting. I believe three correct answers is good enough for me. I will ask one last question. You're indeed well-versed in astronomy, a rare quality in one so young. Perhaps there lies within you a strong link to Earth? Either way, it is an excellent sign of your potential to lead. You have my support. Hey there. Ah, the man who hopes to rise from lieutenant to the ranks of great master. I'll be honest. I'd back you simply from what you've already done for us. To me, you've already proven your courage and leadership. But... But... A great master also needs to take care of the logistics, like the equipment. Keeping them working, upgrading them, and... All right, I'll cut to the chase. I actually just want a better staff. So, in short, if I give you my staff, you get it upgraded. After, you'll have my support. Deal? Let me see what I can do. You do nice work. Much more balanced. I guess you can call this my better staff. Get it? My better staff? Good thing that getting my humor isn't a prerequisite for my support. I'd be happy to see you as great master. Hey there, I... Melvin already told me you want to become our great master. I have no problem with it, but you'll have to prove you know how to fight first. Show me what you've got. Uh... <laughs> give you my support after that. It'd be nice to have a great master who knows how to make some blood flow. Hello, Zachariah. Word is that you aim to become our next great master. Please, take no offense, but it is my belief that you are far too inexperienced for such a monumental task. Enthusiasm you have, and strength. But look at the state of us. Our order is chaotic. Whoever leads us must have perfected our rights, that he might initiate our new technomancers properly in our ways. Then test me. Let my knowledge speak for itself. So let it be. We are, as technomancers, connected by a secret that we all learned the same way. Tell me, who were the protagonists of the message you saw? And what was the object the Great Master gave you during the ceremony? And what two oaths does the Initiate recite to end the ceremony?
nearly flawless, but nearly and flawless. Hello, Zachariah. Whoever leads us... Then test me. So let it be. And what was the object the Great Master gave you during the... And what two oaths does the Initiate recite to end... I'm impressed. Perhaps I was wrong. You seem indeed ready to initiate our newcomers. You have my support. I'd be happy for you to become our Great Master. Greetings, Zachariah. Greetings, Zachariah. My congratulations, Great Master Zachariah. The decisions of the other Technomancers were sent to me. Though I wish we could offer you a proper ceremony, we are but a shell of our former selves. Know that all of us, no matter how few, renew our vows before you to preserve the secret and continue to seek the Earth at any cost. I will, if it's your desire, ensure the communication between our brothers, and if you have any mission for us, please, do not hesitate to come see me. Melvin, thank you. Just let me know if anyone gets wind of threats or any sort of information that'll allow us to move forward. Talk to you later. Everything's gonna be fine. Why do you look so scared? I just don't know whether I should believe it all just yet. Why not? Scott even said he was sure he could find a way, and if anyone can do it, as crazy as he is, <laughs> we'll see. I'm not sure whether I'm more scared he'll fail or he will succeed. The last time I used Technomancy, I destroyed half the school. Harmed dozens of children, lost an arm. But you've learned how to control it since then. Have faith. Whatever you're gonna go through, this time you'll have good friends beside you to help. Zachariah! You look good! Better than I! As if that was hard to... So, Scott, success? Of course. These kits are rather easy to adapt to a prosthesis, and it's given me ideas. You see, we could produce prostheses with an electrical transmission system, even for non-technomancers. We would just have to... May I? Here. I like... I mean, I'd prefer if all those people weren't around. Let's go to a quiet place. Oh, you bought it? Don't worry, I've already messed you up enough. <laughs> you got me. You know, not using technomancy requires even more control, mastery. I'd completely forgotten this feeling of relaxation, peace. Welcome back to your people, Andrew. Thank you very much to both of you. It's so strange. I feel like I'm a new man. You're welcome, my boy. Have fun. Hey. Hey, back. Huh! <laughs> 
Hey, Brad. Zachariah, how's the hunting? I've got your last specimen. Oh, my. A sample of the Black Mole. I really, I, I can't even... If you only knew the contributions you're making, the discoveries from the Storm Locust glands alone, groundbreaking. And I'll be sure to cite your contribution in all my papers. You've earned it. A dream come true, really. You have another sample you're looking for? Indeed. The Shield Toad supposedly resides around the Mutant Valley. If you could, I would love to study its skin. Little is known about it. Mutants don't really disclose much about their city, but for a hunter like you, I'm sure capturing such a specimen shouldn't be a hassle. I'll do my best.